I lost my portable charger and iPhone cable, so I am going to look for the room, which is where we played the Dead of Winter. That's the last time I saw it, so I'm gonna go check in with them, see if they found it. Um, chances are slim, but why not? And uh, then I'm going to meet Matt Mercer. And I pulled out all the straps. I got my ears, I got my skirt that I think looks like it's inspired by like a Destiny thing, which he's the voice actor of. And then I got my Dorito Goblin Overwatch shirt. And I'm so excited. I hope, I hope, I hope that he will say hi and be nice, I guess. I don't know. After that, um, I'm so unsure. I think. I have a couple of things today. Betrayal on House on the Hill is definitely one. And then I also think, oh, we've got a dinner at Harry and Izzy's. And there's other stuff, I'll let you know. These guys um, built an altar to Tracy Hickman because Killer Breakfast is not, um, <laughs> is, uh, is not on this year. So this is really hilarious. Some more uh, loot that we picked up from the exhibit hall. machines along the way to keep you entertained on this long journey. We'll give updates uh, as our journey continues. <laughs> I'm actually taking a little video so the more that you guys okay. can talk. You might want to spin the light is bad. That way. That way. <laughs> Make it spin! Make it spin! <laughs> I know what I have become. I am the inside of this world. I taste the gore, and I smell the crying, and I want more! And I want cookies! I want to bathe in your flesh! Cookies! I want to savor your fear! I want to live in a castle built of your agony, and I want to crumble it with an axe to your carotid artery! Hi, I'm Derek, and he works for Gen Con, and I'm Lily. That's awesome! Well, Derek, pleasure to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Thanks Thank for coming out. Overwatch. Oh, that's awesome! I love the thing where you do the thing and you roll. Fan the hammer? Yeah. Yeah, they, they had to nerf it a little bit, but I think, I think it needed to be done. It's a little too, a little too easy to tear people down and get rid of them. Nerf this! <laughs> no! No! This is so good. Yeah, very few phrases can just like between the high note yeah. and that phrase. That, there's very few moments that make everyone just scramble. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. Who's your favorite character to play? I mean, I'm kind of biased from McCree, but uh, if, if, if I'm not playing in that realm... You can't play him, because... Right, it's not fair. I go, uh, I'd probably go either Junkrat or Mercy. Mercy's my favorite! Awesome! Helden sterben nicht! She's a ton of fun, too. Was the, the day that I, I opened uh, Luke Fox and got her Valkyrie skin was the day yes. that I was like, I'm gonna play her all the time. I'm just like, gonna play her like, for every second. like five dollars like, off getting it. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, for it. Soon. Soon. What's, you play Destiny? I played a little bit. I haven't played too much of it, unfortunately. Did you choose a class? I chose the, uh, the Warlock, I think. Yeah. Yes. You, you make all the bad decisions. <laughs> you say this now. Last night did not make all the best decisions. Did you I'm say the thing? Today. I say the thing? Did you say it? I can say the thing. Yeah, it doesn't know what time it is, though. What time is it? It's high noon. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I have a really weird question though. Yes, what's your weird question? I was wondering if you would do my voicemail. I can do your voicemail, yeah. Yes. So, what you just saw was my meeting with Matt Mercer and I literally like, I am, um, I am, I can't even, like he did my voicemail. Oh my God, I can't, I can't. He was the sweetest like, celebrity type person I've ever met. Like I've met a couple of people that are famous and they're they're fine. I don't want to say that to be mean, but he was so genuine. He's clearly an actual nerd, an actual gamer, actually a genuine human being, and he was just so kind.
like bugs. the exhibitor hall some more and I picked up uh, a couple of things for friends from the weird booth and I'm almost done with it I have like four more rows to go but we have a game starting in like 30 minutes so I wanted to see if I could get something to eat before the game starts and I found these two boots <laughs> we bought a lightsaber uh, so we are checking out the beer garden Uh, don't document this. What's that? He's, it was his idea. Hey. Hey. We did the big no-no and got Remember convention center food. Ugh. cosplay parade for the costume cosplay contest that's gonna happen straight after and whoa there was some awesome huge amazing cosplays I can't even believe that I'm not in it this year but next year I will work on something hopefully I get like one or two cool cosplays done that is the hope now that that's done oh I hope I can get like a group cosplay next next year because I would love that um, I have a few things up my sleeve that I really want to do. Maybe I'll talk about it in a future video. Now we are going to go to Harry and Izzy's and get steak. Or something else if you don't like steak. Uh, we'll see. And um, then I'm going to check out the Tilted Kilt, get a drink there. 
then do some Battletech pods, and then I have a game called Games Around the World, which is... I'll show you later. Wow, he actually did it. He made a castle and a full dragon and a Game of Thrones chair. to around the world in XX Games. Correct. We are. Uh, th this is an event where um, that's four hours long, essentially. But um, I'm too tall. We uh, the the games in this event are all games that are not produced uh, or designed in the U.S. or Germany, which are the powerhouse countries for designing most board games or games in general. So they will have games from all around the world at this event. And it's going to be cool to try something different and see what other countries' perspectives yeah. on games are. So I'm really excited for this. Some late night, um, <laughs> late, like, late night, midnight, secret Hitler, and uh, none of these people, right, except for Swada, have played this game before, so it's super exciting, and everybody's Great. just starting to figure it out. <laughs> but he gave me a liberal policy. If he was a fascist, he would know. What if he had? I'm not fascist. Okay. Okay. Well, totally. Today was great. Um, I had a lot of fun hanging out with my friends. Um, I got to play a bunch of games that um, I hadn't tried before. I really, really enjoyed uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill. It was super good and I would play it again. I had a, lot, a ton of friends come over and we all played uh, some games. We played um, a game by Steve Jackson, the Simon Cat game. That was fun. It was kind of Uno style. We played Exploding Kittens. We played Secret Hitler, and it was a lot of fun. I helped people facilitate the game, so it was good. I got to um, watch a ton of cosplay and take pictures, and then I got to hug Matt Mercer, so I'm just dead happy, am I? Tomorrow is the last day of Gen Con, so I'm gonna be super sad. Everything is the worst. My friends are all going to go home, and that'll be super sad. We are going to try and hit up the battle type pods. <laughs> Um, and we're going to uh, paint your my, paint your own My Little Pony event tomorrow. And then we're making a mad dash around the exhibitor hall to pick up some last minute things. And it's gonna be good. <laughs>